Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Path Trading Partners along with Bob Iaccino. So, Bitcoin rallied back up to the 650 area, now heading back lower. We're going to be watching for to see if it finds support again at 6,500. If it doesn't, we're going to 63.74. Same level still apply as always. It's still in consolidation, still in the same range. Still watching to see if we get the close below 6,500 or a close really above 6,700. Minor close above 66.50. Still, as people have replied in the comments and with emails, still sitting on our hands, waiting for something to happen. There's nothing to do here. So we're not going to force any trade, either long or short. Switching over to Ethereum. Ethereum, coming back down, we're starting to get some separation in the rotation zone. Test it here to the upside, test it again to the upside. If you're looking for short-term levels, for some reason, you could always do a forward GAN box this area, which gave you the next level of about 203, just below this prior support area. And now you could pull that down. So we're back up at the top of the rotation zone again, which is declining. We are making now, it looks like lower lows and lower highs. So that just reinforces the next 201 level and then 200 level. Interesting how that all lines up. So here's your next two key levels. Should we trade below that 202.74? 201.61 to 201.43 is the first cluster area. And 238 to about 249 is the next area. That's how you can use those levels to fine-tune it if you are looking to fine-tune your levels for some reason and not waiting for a major breakdown. Again, for Ethereum, a close below 200 is the bearish case, and then we'll be watching for 194.50, then about 188 to 189. Bullish case at this point, I'd need to close with the two. I mean, the 21 coming in right here in the 211 level. So I'd actually need to close about above 212.25 area to start looking for the bullish case at all. So we have for you on Ethereum and Bitcoin, and we'll talk to you everyone soon. Bye for now.